What's up, everybody? I'm from Joe here, 10 like is again, like always. Uh, I guess y'all heard about George Zimmerman getting a, uh, trying to kill his wife and his strange wife and and father-in-law. And it's funny because <sighs> because one thing is I said it like this: back in July, he just been found not guilty of killing Trevor Martin and now and uh and it's funny that he's trying to kill his father-in-law and his mother uh, not mother but it, it's his father-in-law and his wife and uh And it's funny, and he tried to kill his wife and his father-in-law, and it's kind of BS about it because one thing is to hear that he, this man just got let, uh, just got found not guilty of a murder case, and he turns around and trying to kill his wife and his father-in-law, and his wife won't press charges. Plus, they're getting a divorce. And it's kind of sad though to see this because. She goes on national TV and tells people, oh, I was there for my husband through his case. But when it came to mine, he was never there to support me. Like, uh, okay, think about it. This man's life was on the line. And all you did was sit there and lie about some money. Can't compare the two. About lying to the court about having money and lying to, uh, or killing somebody. But, uh. And it made me think about the whole, like, okay, hearing that he's trying to kill his wife and his father-in-law, it's like, I said, didn't y'all see this? I was like, come on, y'all. He killed the kid, then turned around and trying to kill his ex-wife. I know y'all didn't, I know a lot of people saw that coming. I know y'all, y'all gonna say, oh, no, we didn't see that coming. Oh, you can't be all on George Jimmy. Oh, he's a good guy. Uh, he tried to kill his ex-wife. He's not a good guy if he's trying to kill his ex-wife future ex-wife because they're getting a divorce and the bad thing about it was uh it's like he stated like plus he's been uh, plus he's been pulled over several uh, two times one he's been pulled over and for speeding and same with the second uh second time he's been put over for speeding plus to ask him if he had a gun in the car and he said yes now why would you like you know you have a right to carry a li uh, carry a gun if you got uh, a license to carry one, but I don't think after several months you should, I would be carrying a gun after being almost convicted of a murder in any way. And now people, I know the people that support him are starting to look at it now. It's like okay, he got away with murder. Of a 17 year old child now he's trying to kill his wife okay what can we do to fix this issue because one thing is I just don't get it because you people letting him walk after trying to kill somebody and y'all sit up here acting like he's the best thing since sliced bread to ever hit the mainstream and then y'all don't question it because y'all sitting up there still trying to support a man that like I don't I just don't get it man I just don't get it it's how I just don't get it how he gets away with killing the kid then trying to kill his ex-wife but people still want to support him like oh his wife is lying his father-in-law like two people just came out and said he tried to they he tried to kill him two people not one, but two. And y'all still going to support him. That's, I, I, I question that. And then he sits up there and says, oh, you got to uphold the law. Well, dude, you just killed somebody. How can, how can anybody take you serious when he said, oh, you got to uphold the law? Yeah, I, I, I just don't get that. I, I just don't get that, man. That That's... that's 
that's kind of odd for a man to say, oh, you got to uphold the law, but you just killed somebody, and you're going to sit up there and try to BS somebody? Come on. It's like, to me, it's like, it's like, if you let a man out, I say, I know people should have shot this before. Because one thing is, he killed a kid. He got away with murder. And I know y'all should have seen it. It's like, it's like sitting up there putting a pedophile on trial, even though there's evidence showing that he raped and molested kids. But you still let him walk, and he ends up raping another kid. Why ain't y'all see that coming? Why ain't y'all see that coming? Then I know there's gonna be I heard you quit hating on him. Quit hating on him. I'm gonna hate on him till till justice till justice kicks in and do something. Because it makes no sense for this guy to kill somebody, then get set uh, walks away from a murder, walks away, don't get convicted of a murder, and then he tries to kill two more people. His wife and his father-in-law does not press charges. And y'all act like nothing happened. How can you sit up there? Is it, it, it going to get to a point where he kills another person and then y'all going to sit there and say, oh, he self-defense. Or he kills five more people. Y'all going to claim, oh, it was self-defense. Or he kills ten people. Y'all going to sit there and keep claiming, oh, it was self-defense. Y'all cannot protect this man from, from what he did. Y'all cannot sit up there and support this man after he did so many things. He's had running with the law, and the people that support him are now looking at, oh, he needs to go to jail. He needs to be locked up if he was going to kill his wife and his father-in-law. Where was y'all at when y'all when he killed Trayvon Martin? Oh, y'all want to claim self-defense on them, but when he kept trying to kill his wife and father-in-law, it's a whole different ballpark. I, I see how it is. I see how it is. I'm not saying it's something else, but y'all making it something else. If y'all support him back then, but y'all looking at him like he needs to go to jail now. You can't sit there and do one thing and turn around and change your mind and do something else. You can't sit there and say, I believe in God. Then turn around and say, I believe in Satan. And Satan is your Lord and Savior. You can't do that. You can't sit up and say, I'm against homosexual. It's like them people that say, I'm, I'm against homosexuality. But you gay yourself. You just can't. It's like... You can't do one thing and then turn around and do the opposite. You, that's what I mean. You can't do. That's what I mean. Trying to say it's like you can't mean for something, then go against what you mean. And this man tries to kill his wife and father-in-law, and people still wants to support him. This man. Is trying to kill people and y'all still support him. So when he kills people, y'all supporting him for it. That's why I see. That's what I see. I see people, oh, he's a good guy. Even though he just killed somebody, he's a good guy. So you're telling me, if he would have succeeded and killed his wife and father in law, y'all would still support him and say he's a good guy, even though he just killed two more people. And y'all gonna sit there and say, well, she was a bitch and she did him wrong. His father-in-law was a motherfucker. Is that how it is? Y'all gonna support him even though he just broke the law twice? Well, if you told it all up, well, he killed Trayvon Martin. He got caught speeding twice. So that's three. If he would've killed his ex, if he killed his estranged wife, and father-in-law, that would have been, what, four times he broke the law? But one of those times he well, uh, <laughs> been found innocent, but he would have been. But he's sitting, and the funny thing is, like I said, was, he sits up there and says, oh, you must uphold the law, but you broke the law. You broke the you broke the law. You 
You broke the law, man. And and, and that's one thing I'm get is this this man can uh, I just don't get people no more. I just don't get it, man. You know, people sitting up here supporting a man and trying to kill his wife and father-in-law and y'all ain't like he's the best thing since life's bread, which I don't get. Like, why is everybody protecting this man from crimes that he is committing? His wife won't press charges. Father-in-law don't press charges. If they don't press charges, I guess the state can press charges. Now, like, for real, man, how many people does, how many people does he got to kill just to be convicted of murder. I ain't mean to bring up the Trayvon Martin thing, but you, you got to think about it. He's just trying to kill his wife, his strange wife, and his father-in-law, and there's people supporting him on that, and it makes you question, why are you supporting him even though he's trying to take two other people's lives? Why is that? Sorry about that. Sorry about that, but, uh, and that's how it is. I question that because a lot of people wants to sit there and baby him and oh we love George okay he just try to kill two more people how can you love somebody who's trying to kill two other people I, I still don't get that it seems like people love it when he kills people it seems like people are obsessed when Zimmerman kills somebody because one thing is because if people when it's like people can't say, Oh, I'm not upset to him killing people. If not, you wouldn't be sitting up there supporting him so much even though it's shown and has on record that he's tried to kill his wife and his strange wife and his father in law and people are like, how can you sit there and support that? You could say he's a bitch you could say his wife's a bitch or his wife is a motherfucker and but it wouldn't make no sense. It wouldn't make no sense that you're supporting somebody to try to kill two other people. I ain't for real, man. I, I question that because I'm Afro. I'm questioning it's not it's because I'm Afro Joe. I'm questioning it's because I'm a person that walks, that goes out to the real world, and I look around. And if he got, and I look around, I see, look around, and I see all these people. I see all these people. And I never question the person about their character. I never question the person about their character. But when it comes down to a guy that just broke the laws more than anybody else and guys and has been found innocent for killing somebody, it makes me question saying how can you sit there and support that? How can you support that? But if people want to support a killer, fine. If people want to support a pedophile, fine. That shoe that tells me that your that your mind is fucked up, that you that you're corrupted in your mind, that you are so obsessed with somebody that kills and rapes and murders and molests kids and other people that y'all are so obsessed with that. Oh, he's innocent, but she's alive, ain't she? You can say that she is alive. And I'm glad she is alive, but it still doesn't. It still doesn't make it look any better that, to see that this man is trying to take two lives. And then he says, to, "Oh, you gotta uphold the law." He, George Simmons said, "He gotta uphold. You gotta uphold the law." But you trying to kill your your strange wife, your strange wife, your father-in-law, and you think people are supposed to kiss your ass just because you got away with murder? You think people are supposed to kiss your monkey ass? And that's one thing I question. And that's one thing I try to figure out is why is people supporting this man so much? That's one question. Why would you support some if a guy killed somebody and he killed that person on purpose? Why would you support that? Like uh, James Holmes, he went in there. He went off into the theater and killed all them people. But all you see is people making fan pages for him. Why is those people 
why are those people supporting him? I know y'all sitting up there, why are you comparing James Holmes to George Zimmerman? Because it's the same shit, but just in a different rapper. Just in a different rapper. That's all it is. It's the same thing, but a different rapper and a different a different store. You can sit there, okay, next one, give me the, no, for real, you can go to Kroger's, go to any, well, Kroger's or any store, go to the candy on, you got candy bars on it, get your Milky Way, you got your Snickers, got your Payday, well, okay, well, your Milky Way's, in, okay, you're going to get a chocolate candy bar, you got your Milky Way's and you got your Payday, now you got your Milky Way and your Snickers, same shit, different rappers, same shit, different rappers. James Holmes sat there and killed people, injured people, but he's got life in prison. George Zimmerman sat there and killed somebody. What did he get? Oh, he's innocent. Let him go. He gets outside. He's trying to kill his wife and his father-in-law. Same shit, man. You just can't sit there. Oh, he's not, he's not the same shit. Yes, it is. A white man goes to jail for murder. But a Hispanic slash white dude. Well, he's actually mixed, so put in where he's a Hispanic and white or Jew or whatever. I don't know his nationality then. I know his mother's Hispanic. His father is, well, just say white. And he gets away with murder. How does that work out so much? Because his father's got money. Because his father was a big, big time judge. How do you sit there and support somebody that's trying to kill two other people? But people sit up there and like, he didn't do a, a damn thing wrong. He's a grown ass man. He's a grown ass man and he tries to kill two people and y'all and like he he's God a gift from God you act like this man is Jesus for real people act like George Zimmerman is Jesus grow the fuck up people if a white man can walk in the theater and kill people or if a white dude can go off into a school and shoot 27 people and both, well, actually, the white dude shot 27 people's dead, but back to the, if white dude can go get to a theater and shoot and kill several people and hurt some people, how come that white man can go to jail and spend life in prison, but this man down in Florida can walk away from a murder and try to kill again? That's what I question. How can this man get away from killing somebody and trying to kill two more people? You answer that question it's not a race thing it's more of a why thing it's why the, for why is he free you do not let a pedophile out you don't let them live near school you don't let them near, live in the neighborhood where there's kids around because one thing is a fucking pedophile will rape and molest a kid and y'all would lose, and y'all rather have that in your neighborhood y'all rather have that in your neighborhood I, I know it man motherfuckers love them pedophiles Motherfuckers love them killers and drug dealers and all like that. Because, man, if you hated the killers and drug dealers and molesters, y'all wouldn't stand for it. I'm, I'm surprised that people that got kids supporting him, but hey, that's how it is. People love the killers. But it's not a race thing. It's more of a why thing. It's why is people supporting him so much? Why is, Pete, why is he walking the streets and try to kill two people? And people still support him. Why? That's what I question. And this, and why does this dude say, "Oh, you got to uphold the law," but you just got away with murder, and you got two speeding tickets, and you tried to kill your estranged wife and your father-in-law. You tell me that. You tell me that. Well, this has been Afro Joe Ten like the is again. Tell me what you think. You think he needs to go to jail or what? Because this is something. Uh, follow me on Twitter, Afro Joe the Wookiee. Subscribe to my channel, Celo Junior 2, Celo Junior 3. And tell, me, tell me what you think. Because to me, he needs to be in prison. Follow me on Tumblr. And you know the deal. Peace, love, and Afro Greece. And please do the right thing.